just that point you made about Barcelona not getting the tackles in. Now, is that is that a, a poor defending on their part, or is it something they're doing deliberately that it's pressure more than mm. pressure of numbers as opposed to physical pressure? Yeah, I spoke earlier about their great defensive record this season, but they actually don't make an awful lot of tackles. I think tonight with Umtiti in the centre of the fence is a bit different, but in generally they're very passive and they try and force mistakes rather than closing you down, doing big blocks, doing big sliding tackles, they, they stand off and they do give you an opportunity to get shots away and for Dybala, he's one person who can find space and if you stand off players who are in space, you're in trouble and that's why I think there will have to be tackles on them tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Historically, they haven't got an awful lot of defensive-minded players in the team because even the, the, the full-backs are usually wing-backs or, or players who are, who are better going forward than backwards. Um, so maybe one of the two centre halves is defensive minded. You've got Sergio Busquets, and I think this is just the the DNA of, of of the way they do play. They like to outscore teams. They have a lot of possession. A lot of the times when they do play, the opposition is very tired when they do get the ball because they they suffocate you with with possession. Um, and it's just the the way they do play. Mm. <coughs> Richie, a, another man who is mm. uh, a star. We're going to see this evening, and we know all about his goal scoring. He's had issues scoring goals this season, though, and it's Suarez. He has, yeah. He got a couple at the weekend, but he's on the longest run without a goal in the Champions League that he's had. He's six games now without a goal. This is what we've seen him do all the time. He comes, shows defeat all the time, as all the Barcelona players does. But he, what I really like, what he always does, is whatever contribution he, he, he makes to the build-up play, he always busts a gut to get back into the position that you want your central striker to be in, so that if it's a supply like that, that he's on the end of it. But this is a sequence of, of play that we'll see from this season's Champions League. He's regularly getting in goal scoring positions, but he just hasn't found the net at all. So, um, as to why that's the case, is it a physical thing? We know he's carrying a bit of a problem with his, his, his meniscus and his knee. There's a bit of a problem there. Sometimes he looks a bit sluggish. You wonder, is he fully fit? Uh, positionally, Neymar is obviously gone. He's playing alongside Messi sometimes, and he said in interviews in the past that he's found himself sometimes drifting into wider areas. Uh, you don't score out wide either. So, um, or if it's a psychological thing, if there's some kind of confidence thing or he's getting some kind of issue which we don't know about, that's a bit, little bit more difficult mm. to, to identify from this. But it's a very surprising run, certainly in this competition. If you go back to the goal he scored in, against PSG in the 6-1 win in March, that's his only goal in the last 12 games in the Champions League. Not what we're used to seeing. Yeah, I know we were talking earlier, Richard, about the... Mm. the the Messi contract stuff. Like Suarez now is the main man tonight with Messi not playing. Mm. Like, I don't know. Do, 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 would the doubts about Messi's future or this contract thing being his, being Suarez's head, or am I reading far too much into it? Yeah, probably. I think he's. Uh, <laughs> I think he's, for that. he's too big of a player himself to okay. worry about other yeah. people. You know, he's a he's a superstar in his own right. Um, obviously, he'd love to play alongside uh, Messi, and he would have preferred if Neymar stayed. He's had his little. Uh, bad patch where he's going through at the moment but in general you can rely on him for 30, 35 goals a season you know he'll, he he is having this sticky bit at the time mm -hmm. but it's still it's still fancy him in, in most mm -hmm. situations one of one I think like the ball is for Juventus he's the, he's the same if you give him space and time generally you will stick it away you often hear people talk about right well, fair enough most strikers go to a spell like this at some point in their career the question always is, well, how do you get out of it? What's mm. the correct way to do it? And there's no one answer that's going to fit every player. But the one thing you often hear people say is, just, just forget about it. Just, just get it out of your head, which is a difficult thing to do because it's the thing that everyone talks to you about. It's the thing that everyone writes about you. Um, in every match build-up, you know it's going to be focused. So to not think about the thing that most people are aware about <laughs> is a tricky thing to do. But if you can manage it, you lighten your load ever so slightly. Indeed, look, you're a psychologist.